All right. How well do you read? Uh, good. You read well? Yes. Oh, well, good. That's good to hear. All right. So we're going to read sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read the first sentence for me. The progressive, move, the progressive movement flourished during 1900s to 1920s. Again, same sentence. The progressive movement flourished during 1900s to 1920s. All right, read the next one. Like the populist progressives sought, sought reform. Like the populist progressives sought reform. Good, the next sentence. They were mainly educated members of the middle class. They were mainly educated members of the middle class. The next sentence. They sought to correct abuses of big businesses, such as exploiting workers. All right. Read all four sentences, starting at the top. The progressive movement flourished during 1900s to 1920s. Like the... Twice? No. All of it, just once. Four sentences. The progressive movement flourished during 1900s to 1920s. Like the populist progressive sought reform. They were mainly educated members of middle class. They sought to correct abuses of big businesses, such as exploiting workers. All right, read the next one, read it twice. They also sought to reform the corrupt practices of governments. They also sought to reform the corrupt practices of governments. Good, the next one. The roots of the movement were with the populist social gospel movement and Muck Raker, Muck Rakers. Muck Rakers. All right, again. The roots of the movement were with the popular social gospel, gospel movement and Muck Rakers. Good. The next one. Social gospel movement led by protesting clergymen. Clergymen called, this, called for social reforms to abolish child labor, safer working conditions and safer working conditions. Good. Read it again. Same sentence. Social gospel movement led by protesting clergymen. 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 Call for social reforms to abolish child labor and safer working conditions. Good. Lessons. They emphasize the ancient idea that each man was his brother's keeper and their Christian duty was to help those who were less fortunate. All right, one more time. They emphasized the ancient idea that each man was his brother's keeper and their Christian duty was to help those who were less fortunate. All right, start at the top. The progressive movement flourished during 1900s to 1920s, like the populist progressive sock reform. They were mainly educated members of the middle class. They sought to re to correct abuses of business of big businesses such as exploiting workers. They also sought to reform the corrupt practices of government. The roots of the movement were with the popular social gospel movement and muckrakers. Social gospel movement led by protestant clergymen. clergymen. Clergymen called for social reforms to abolish child labor and safer working conditions. They emphasized the ancient, ancient idea of each man was his brother's keeper and their Christian duty was to help those who were less fortunate. All right, so your fluency isn't all that bad. It's not all that good, but it's not all that bad. You got better. What did you notice the difference was every time you read it twice? I kept like, getting it. Like, I'm making the same mistakes that we do. That's right. You corrected your mistakes, which is important. You have to correct your mistakes so you get that in your head. You know exactly how it's going. You also didn't read very fast, which is good. Okay? It's not about reading fast. It's about reading right and being precise. Okay? And if you don't know a word, you notice that if you keep pronouncing it, where's the word you had trouble with? That one. Mm -hmm. Protestant? What is it? Pleasure. That's it. See, if you keep pronouncing the word, pre-pronouncing the word, it sticks. Mm -hmm. That's how you learn to read. Now, the next stage, because you're at least, you can at least get through text. The next step is, what, kind, what information is here? What's it talk? Can you give me some idea of what it's saying? 
about the progressive movement. All right. What about them? Um, what do they do? Abuse like big abuses of big businesses. Like what, for instance? What? Are, what? Like uh, factories. Okay. So big businesses. Who are they abusing? Who do you think they're abusing? Uh, like child because of child labor. Okay. So, oh, very good. Where does it say that? All right, read that sentence. Social gospel movement led by pro protestants, clergymen called for social reforms to abolish child labor and safer working conditions. All right, so explain that sentence to me. Tell me what you think it's saying. Uh, they're trying to get rid of child labor and like, or like get safer working conditions. Okay, why do you think those things, uh, what, what, what kind of things do you think were happening in those factories? Uh, they were not paying them that much. Okay, what else? Uh, like poor working conditions. Like what, 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 what do you think poor working conditions would be? Mm. Think of a factory. If you were working in a factory, what kind of, what would be poor working conditions? What do you think would be poor working conditions? Like getting like a lot of hours. Yeah. Without getting paid a lot. Okay, making you work a long time without making you pay a lot. And what else? Would it be safe? No. So, good working conditions would be things that would be like what? Would it a safe environment? Yes. And a poor working condition would be like what? A dangerous environment. Yeah, possibly a dangerous environment. Kid, it, it, it's who's working? The, the children. Wow. In factories. Yeah. Okay. And so read this last sentence for me. They emphasize. They emphasize the ancient idea that each man was his brother's keeper and their Christian duty was to help those who were less fortunate. What do you think that's saying? Read it again loud and listen to what it says. They emphasize the ancient idea that each man was his brother's keeper, and their Christian duty was to help those who were less fortunate. Give it a shot. You don't have to be right, as long as you give me a general idea. What do you think it's saying? I guess they're like, they're going from like, Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Give it a shot. You want to read it again? Yes. Read it again loud. They emphasize and listen to the it. ancient idea that each man was his brother's keeper, and their Christian duty was to help those who were less fortunate. Again, is it a, is a religious thing? Yes. Why do you think it's a religious thing? Because this is Christian duty. Very good. So it's a religious thing. So the religious thing says what? Look at what it says there. Uh, right there. Each man was his brother's keeper. What do you think that's trying to say? That's a hard thing for somebody who's... The, who's uh, doesn't uh, understand this kind of verbiage. That's not easy to understand. Mm -hmm. You have brothers and sisters? Yes. All right. You take good care of them? Yeah. Why? Because they're my brothers and sisters. What is it saying there? What do you think it's saying there? Read it again. Read it loud. The whole sentence? Yeah. They emphasize the ancient idea that each man was his brother's keeper. All right, stop right there. What did you just tell me? That each man was his brother's keeper? Yeah. What did you say about your brothers and sisters? They take care of them. So what are they saying? Take care of your brothers and sisters. Right. But is it brothers and sisters like related or in general? In general. Okay. So... It's a religious thing that says, take care of your brother and sister in general. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how are they going to do that? Read the rest of it. 
to help those who were less fortunate. So what do they mean by that? What do you think they mean by that? I guess giving back like to the community. Yeah, less fortunate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And who were these people? Let's see. They were called what? Social gospel movement. That's one of them. What else were they called? Populist social gospel movement. And? Munchcrackers. Muckrakers. 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 All right. Let's one more thing. Let's look for one more thing that I think is important. Oh, look at this. Read that one out loud to me. They were mainly educated members of the middle class. What kind of people were these? What do you think? Like, they lived like not that well, but not that bad. All right. It's because they're in the middle. Yeah. All right. Are they uh, dumb people, smart people, or what are they? They're smart. How do you know? Read the sentence. Read it loud. Mainly educated. What would that mean? They're like educated. They're smart. Okay. And they're, who live in the middle class? Are they poor? No. Are they rich? No. Okay. All right. So they care about other people. Yeah. Okay. So want to reform? What are they? What are they reforming? The social gospel movement. All right, but what are they reforming? It says up here, they sought to reform what? They go big businesses. Uh huh. Such as like exploiting workers. Who are exploiting workers and sought what else? To reform corrupt practices of government. Okay. All right. Pretty good. You figured a lot of that out all by yourself, huh? Mm. That's how it's done. That's what you have to do, okay? Can you explain this better to me in Spanish than you can in English? I don't think so. All right, okay. That's all right. So what do you think about this process? It helps, it helps a lot. Like, the more you read it, the more you understand it. Yeah, if you get in a hurry, you're not gonna learn it, are you? Mm -mm. Okay, so this is the way it works, so. Next time I see you, we're going to do this paragraph. Okay. All right, we'll do this one, then we do this one. All right? All right. Okay.